Here's a 2012 Ford F-150 3.5 EcoBoost. Customer complaint was they saw a little bit of coolant over the turbo. Turbo on these guys here is on the side. And you can kind of see it right here and you can see, see if I can show you here, you can see a little bit of the coolant still on there. And I'm going to show you where to look. Uh, very similar to the video I did on the Triton. So look at the hoses, your supply and return, right here. Go into your heater core. And you have these two jumpers uh, on this year. You've got one here, and then there's one here. On the old Tritons, usually they were leaking kind of here. So these are the quick connects. Sometimes it's the O-ring. Uh, what I found on both of these, now both of these here are the old ones on here. They were leaking right there. Right there. This is a swivel. This part swivels. Uh, you can test it while the vehicle's running. It needs to circulate, build up a little bit of pressure, and then you'll see it right there in the joint. So this one was, the old one was leaking right there. On this one here, um, I'm just pressure tested it. So this is a a tool that allows you to pressurize your system. Uh, don't exceed the value here on your cap. And it's like kind of a good way to see if for any leaks. So it was leaking here. And once I fixed that, uh, I saw that it also was leaking on the other one. And the other one was the one that's right here. Now I was going to also show you a nice little thing you can do which I've seen some of them from the factory look like this without the jumper. I actually call this part a uh, hose jumper. Um, I can't remember KH 559 maybe. Um, that's a motorcraft part. This one here, this hose is not long enough to eliminate the jumper but on this one here, as you can see, it almost looks like it's supposed to be that way. And in fact, I've seen some, I think, I'll have to look again, that look like that. So there was, there were two jumpers on here. They were both leaking. And that's where the coolant was coming from. I pressure tested it and it's still holding pressure. I think that pressure tester has been on there for a couple hours, maybe now already. You can see she's still holding pressure. Anyway, that's a quick tip for you. And then uh, another one for you is to quickly remove these. When you... See if I can do this one handed. When these are in, if you press these down, press it if you can down from down here and twist this just a little bit and then it'll come right out. And if you have, I'll show you the tool that makes that a lot easier so you don't need any special tools. Get my drawer of thousand pliers here. So this one, extended reach. Trying this one handed. Just catch the the end of it like that. That's all you need, and then a twist. It can come out straight, pulled out, but it's way easier with a, just a slight twist. 
Anyway, that's how you remove those forward quick connect for the heaters. And if you got a leak, in short summary, take a look over here. If it's leaking right above here, uh, very similar to the Triton motors, that last one there, getting uh, on the Triton motor, usually that coil is going bad, uh, or it being wet or whatnot, but uh, on the 3.5, was leaking leaking down here right on top of the the turbo so that's it right there quick tip for a ford 3.5 ecoboost